Hey you right guys, Trophy Reacts here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 7 of Grey's Anatomy season 5. I watched uh, the other episode not too long ago, I think like maybe yesterday. <laughs> it might have been yesterday or something but uh, it was a good episode overall. I like that we're finally getting on with the Alex and Izzy romance. I thought Lexi and Christine are kind of working together. Last episode was good. We had Owen uh, and Izzy going back and forth so there was a few dynamics in the last episode that we haven't quite had before which... I enjoyed so yeah episode seven if you enjoy make sure to leave a like as it does help the video and it does help the channel and patreon is linked down below if you do want to join us over on there we'll be on around episode let me look episode 17 or 18 of season five so we won't quite be at the end of season five yet but we'll have a few more episodes uh, left to go and like i said that'll be linked down below but for now let's do this if you're a normal person one of the few things you can count on in life is death I thought he was about to say, is Derek then? We can all count on Derek to be a fool. Hello. These are amazing. They're all about the medicine. I mean, there's like no personal crap. No talk about boyfriends or feelings. She hardly even mentions you. Oh, she's, she's reading them. I like the Harry Potter books I never had. <laughs> Check these two out, cuddling up. After 360, clear. We stand and defiantly give death the finger. Oh, he died? No. The finger of checking the pulse. I won't do the marriage counseling. I'm saying I can't do it in the mornings again. I'm now 20 minutes late for work. Are they still together? I really thought they would have broken up by now. Of course she had Burke. Burke out. True. The counseling's a good move. Burke, that long distant memory of a character. Allow me to introduce Stan. Blow it. It blinks. He breathes, he pulsates, he uh... sees his hemorrhages, he secretes, and he speaks. Hello, okay. Stan. Hello, Doctor. Okay, I'm not feeling talks. well. You don't look well, mate. You kill him, he'll keep coming back for more. So make good use of him, people. Paul Stan. Uh, when the chief decides which one of you gets to do the first solo surgery, you'll want to be ready. <laughs> Wait, did you just say solo surgery? Solo, solo, solo surgery. What it will be, I do not know when it will be. I do know that the winner who, should be prepared to do any hmm, surgical procedure. Who do I think genuinely deserves to do the solo surgery? Not George, not Dead Izzy. Point. I am having chest pain. So just to be clear, we are not cracking open any chests today. No, Stevens. <sighs> it's just that with the solo surgery... I'd say probably Meredith, because she did do that breakthrough with Derek as well. It's just been the least corrupt. She's been one of the more annoying, but that's it. <laughs> Maybe Christina. What? That's... That's Teddy's heart. That's a heart I stole for Denny. Ah, that's coming back into play. Interesting. I need you to have sex with Christina Yang. Good morning. <laughs> Distract her. Engage her. Give her something to do after midnight besides call my girlfriend and wake me up. And you went to Mark. I mean, probably should have gone to Owen. Mark and Christina. You don't think you have a shot. You're probably right. No, oh, he's getting a no, shot. I'm trying. How's it feel No. Not your stud horse. Can't just, just tell me who. You slept with my wife. <laughs> yeah, I give it a shot. Yeah, yeah, I can still bring that up, I guess. Fair enough. What the hell are they doing? Doing drugs? Are you guys shooting drugs? Oh my god. No, we're practicing IVs. <laughs> you look well pissed off. Practicing on each other? We did it at Baylor. It's cool. No, it's not cool. It's crazy. It's like creepy basement crazy. Mmm, everyone's gone up to worse. I'm next. Don't snitch, Lexi, please. You'll be shunned. Found him under a freeway overpass. Cop thinks someone threw him over. After they beat him out to death? So it's a contest? Solo surgery? So. Yeah, fresh eyes. You don't know them personally. I mean, you don't have any history, any relationship. I actually want them to pick someone who is the number one. Don't do the whole, you're all as good as each other. You're all doing a solo surgery. Oh, God, I'll die. He needs that access now. Yes, I'm doing it, sir. So why don't you time until you get that line? Yeah. yeah. If you were less worried about winning contests, you might have thought of it. Oh, yeah, she should win that. Give me a, a heart attack. He's from How to Get Away with uh, Murder? It's a technique called alcohol ablation yeah, through a catheter Dolls in your femoral thing. artery. Didn't he also create How to Get Away with Murder? Or he's a writer or something. Just like that, I'll be able to breathe. So, have you heard of Just Danny? Like and, and he can't be asleep during the procedure? I'm afraid not. Dr. Stevens here. Should Izzy be here considering? I mean, no one knows apart from Meredith, but. The next heart attack you have, and you will have one. Will. 
<laughs> they keep on bringing back Jeffrey Dean Morgan, don't they? <laughs> they can't let the man just be dead. <laughs> I do think they maybe regret killing him off so soon. I don't think they anticipate that they'd be as popular as they ended up being. Is it a lot of Denny for you two? I mean, how much Denny are you experiencing? Is? You can do this. But then again, it did win Izzy the Emmy, is that right? Or she was nominated. You're gonna win the solo surgery because you suck. Your bedside manner is what sucks. Oh, what? Is so what did you say? Ain't technology amazing? You are so awesome. You are so awesome. Oh. No, 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 stay! Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? The solo surgery coming up, your job is to impress me. Let's go. Dr. Yang, with the solo surgery coming up, your job is to impress me. You were planning for this man's death while I'm fighting for his life. I was trying to be prepared. I'm sorry. Can't you sorry? I could use a doctor. Be one. I like that he kind of tells how it is at times. You're signing a do not resuscitate order. If it's my time to go. She doesn't want to be on a life support kind of thing. She'd hate that. I just hate lying around like that. I don't want that. Oh, okay. GG's. I wonder if Izzy will come in and break that code. Bye, darling. Goodbye, love. See you on the other side, bro. Well, you know that won't be you and whatever his name is, Tucker. Tucker, but I guess you're like, yes, Sorry, we, we do this every time. We'll get mad horny. Paper, we kiss goodbye, and then after the surgery, we say hello again. Oh, not this this sounds like a plan to me. Unluckily for you, you're on Grey's Anatomy. For medical research, gross anatomy, surgical study, that sort of thing. For like, med students? Exactly, for med stu students. To practice on? You're pretty. Yes, you just realized. Um, thank you all for being here. Okay. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity <laughs> to learn, and I'm sorry you had to die. I mean, if anyone was going to perform on my corpse, I guess you'd want it to be Lexi. Hello, surgery. What's your take as uh, class? They're a mixed bag. Yang's very good. She's a uh, oh, hardcore. She'll be a cardio god. She's my roommate, actually. And Stevens? She's smart, good with patients, very compassionate, supposedly. She mm. lives up with my ex-husband while we're still married. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. More interested in the doctor part? Right. Yeah. Obviously, of course. <laughs> There's a splenic subcapsular hematoma. I can look. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Hey, at least he ain't playing favorites. Maybe he's even being extra harsh to her just because he clearly likes her, but. Patient trauma one. Oh, you paid me for a console? I was hoping you wanted to see me. I did. This ain't gonna work. Mark and Christina hooking up, not a chance. Good luck, mate. I specifically chose you for this case because you connect well with patients. Oh, right, that's yeah, why. That's yeah, actually something I've been told to work on not doing. Very convenient, the only time you've ever asked for Izzy is when it's to do with Danny. <laughs> You're gonna feel a little bit of burning. Yeah. Well, that make it oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, we'll just put acid into your bowels. Move. Um, try, try to lay still, Mike, you can try to breathe. Oh, you're doing a great job, Mike, isn't? we can't stop, but it's gonna end soon, so just hang in there. Stevens, talk to him. I'm sorry. Okay, Gray, how is his pressure? 85 systolic. Open up his IV. Stevens, talk to him. Oh, Denny, De Denny, Denny ain't impressed. I would, but I'm just seeing uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan for the 50th time. Please. Does that mean we're not successful? Mike, there were two arterial roots. I could. Is he being super professional again? I'm so sorry. Really stepped up to the plate there. <laughs> Tell Stevens to find me so I can permanently throw her off my service. Dr. Han, yeah. I know you have history with this patient, but in a weird way, Izzy does too. Oh, you're actually telling her? Damn it. Tumor's hemorrhaging. Her brain's starting to swell. Push 70 to mannitol. She's braiding down a uh, one of atropine. Let's make sure these two get a chance to say hello again. Uh, well, it's early in the app, maybe. Until. Have you seen Izzy? No. You kind of think I can scrub in on robot patient sucks. Listen, why, why? Izzy is having a rough day, so if you see no, no, her, no, no, don't... I'm having a rough day. He kissed you. Yes. Uh, that was, I don't know, before. Now he hates my guts. Well, he doesn't hate you. I, mean, I, I have no idea what I did or, or said or what. I gotta 
me off this case. I mean, he told you what. You were more focused on winning a competition than you were the patient. Our guy's scheduled for surgery yet. I want to know when I'm going to see you next. Uh, he's not stable yet. Oh, well, then we might have time. I just have to put his down. Oh, Margaret. This does not happen to me. I have assembled an army of the dead to teach us things. Cadavers. I got his cadavers to practice on a whole bunch of them. You got cadavers, human cadavers. They're down in the tunnels. We'll meet there for lunch. <laughs> cool fun. You know, if Izzy Stevens had some sort of a relationship with Danny Duquette. <laughs> what do you mean besides the engagement? Oh, and the cutting of his LVAD wire so she could move him up the transplant That's list? Well, you didn't man. know about this? Izzy was on probationary leave. She was like, yeah, but like a day. Nearly kicked out of the program. I <laughs> know she nearly was. Like you absolutely should have just been. Oh, oh my god. I wanna see some dead guys? Why? Why would you say that? Why? Cadavers. For practice. What? The solo surgery. What is this? I heard you were having a crappy day. They're just That's stealing the all the bodies. It's like a bouquet of corpses. That is so um I'm sorry. That's no. so cute. It's crazy. These are for interns. Go play with the dummy. Ugh. Come on. Wow, George, what are we doing here? I'm dying. What? I'm applying there pressure. There must be something <laughs> you're forgetting. Uh, oh, for crying out loud! Jesus. Even passed your intern exam. Oh, and it throws out insults while it's dying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Oh. <laughs> Chief, I have to talk to you. I thought it was just like I'm very wise AI. This. Let's blow an artery. I'm bleeding out. <laughs> I'm bleeding out. It's about Izzy Stevens and Denny Duquette. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that show him on rapid. How is Seattle Grace still accredited? This whole thing goes unreported? It's no wonder this place is number 12. What kind of hospital are you Stop. running? You're not wrong. I want an ethics review panel assembled. I want Stephen's role in this investigated Ooh. and Bailey's as well because she was her superior. Slow down, Eric. No. Ooh. A heart over this, Richard. Someone is damn well going to lose their job. Stop. We're not digging this up. Oh, she is. Stevens was punished. She's learned from her mistake, and she's on her way to becoming an excellent surgeon. That's the kind of hospital I'm Oh, she's at. seeing ghosts while she's meant to be looking after a patient. But... It is not in the past for me. It's lying on a bed in the ICU about to die. Then your only responsibility is to make sure that doesn't happen. <sighs> I see where she's coming from. They'd be, if there's a way around, they'd be fully pissed as well, so... We're not sure how she's going to respond. Oh, sure. Move out my way. The waiting is always the hard part. Sorry to interrupt the video here, guys. It's just a reminder that we don't take any sponsors on this channel. So this is just kind of sponsored by me. And it's just a short, quick reminder to let you guys know that if you do want to join us over on Patreon, the link will be in the description and the pinned comment down below. You can join us over on there for free to get certain posts, or you can join us for a certain pledge and you can get the early and uncut reactions to pretty much all the shows that I do. Or as another option, you can click the join button under the video. And for just $2 a month, you can get loyalty badge early access to new videos and priority reply to all comments appreciate you guys so much for watching now back to the video whatever video that might be i stole it for denny i stole it for myself and now i'm supposed to hold his hand while we torture him i can't even look at him it's my fault that he's here so anyway i'm hiding oof oof yang suction here please Someone's coming in for the mandibular repair. Also, I can't feel too sad about Christine here because, again, this is how she treated Lexi for a whole season. Actually, worse than he's treating her, so. Dr. Yang, I know cracking chest is more your thing, but you'd be surprised how exciting it can be when I manipulate a little skin. <laughs> Actually, Dr. Yang, why don't you just scrub out? We've got enough hands in here. You stink. I showered. You smell like formaldehyde. Why do you smell like death? Why do you smell like death? Uh, oops. She knows that smell. I see dead people. Get out. I need off my hunt kit. I need to be with people. Preferably life people. What, what'd you come in here then? Hey, so check this out. My dead mommy taught me a cool way to hold these instruments. If you palm it, you can switch off faster. When your dead mommy teaches you things, 
Can you see her? No. I'm reading her journals. Stop. I was kidding. Yeah, sure. That was real convincing. Please don't be in there. <sighs> oh, Han's about to come and give her a piece of her mind. If I can convince Mike to have another ablation, you're going to be there to see him through. To look him in the eye. To help him through the pain that you have caused him. Uh, and if he dies, I want you there for that too, because you're responsible. He decided. Damn, the blood will be on your hands. You won't do another procedure. I'm going to go check him out. So move on. Okay, well, one great way to look at it. If you die. I shall move on. She'll never move on. She will not get over it. She will not move on, and she will not be able to move on. Shit, she might have a point. They're not doing anything. Make them do something. They're just standing around. Do not resist her, They're keeping her comfortable. That's all they can do. You and Rosie agreed there would be no extreme measures taken if her time came. Even if we try to resuscitate her. I'm not sure she's gonna wake up again. Nothing more we can do. Oof. Rosie? Honey? Rosie's dipping out. Rosie? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, stay with me, Rosie. Oh. Rosie, stay with me. Don't leave me, Rosie. He's trying to stay himself. Stay with me, Rosie. Don't leave me. Stay with me. Stay with me, Rosie. I mean, it might do it. Oh, 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 wait, oh, wait. Don't leave me, Rosie. Do something I'm for so her, sorry. then. Do something for No! Now. Hey, you sign, you sign, stop. I mean, she technically did. I'm glad you decided to try again. Uh, okay, well, thanks. Thank Dr. Stevens. Stevens. It's her fault we're here, right? Are you actually going to talk to him this time, or are you going to see ghosts? <laughs> Mike, look at me. Just stay with me. It's going to hurt Danny. as much as you think it's going to. Oh. Oh. Get him to breathe. Mike, you need to breathe. Call for me. Oh, he ain't breathing. Look, look at, at him. Me, Mike. Look at me. Oh, proud Danny. I said nothing. He's just been given looks. Easiest paycheck of Jeffrey D. Morgan's life. <laughs> Didn't have to memorize any lines. Just had to stand there going. <laughs> uh, how much you got paid for this episode? Why didn't you put in a chest tube? I was. I don't know how. What do you mean you don't know how? I mean I learned that in my first week. Yes, you mm, learned. For you. you know. But I will never know because you not only won't let me try one, but you you hog all our robots and you, and you steal don't all teach our corpses. Them anything. Dude, I think you broke her. Is there this much blood in his urine before? No. Well, he's gonna need a bedside cystogram. Dibs on that. No, 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 it's mine. And his bladder repair is mine too. They're always just fighting over who gets to have the bodies. It's like, oh, trade this, trade that. Mine, 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 mine. Next time this guy crashes, you put in his chest tube. Get away from that man right now. Go on, Owen. Lay down some laws. Crashing, so he upped his dopamine and gave death grip. I said, step away from him. I'm just saying that we were saving his life. No, what you did was pick over him like vultures, like a bunch of Ooh, children fighting. Oh, yes, Owen! Was treat a man as fighting to live as if he's already dead. You've no sense, no decency, and no respect. Finally, get wrecked. Well, someone finally said it. Then all he's doing this is mine, is mine, corpse. Like, fuck off, man. Imagine if you were dead and someone's doing that over your body. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at a bunch of weirdos. Your bro's about to pass out himself. Your heart is no longer beating on its own. The second you stop doing what you're doing, then you'll stop. Oh yeah, never stop him. Till he drops. Take a, take a breather, mate. She's invested now. You have to listen to this. You need to breathe. Right now. Right now! Right now! Oh, God, you breathe, mate. There you go. That's what I'd say if I was at the bedside manor table. Dennis 
arm, proud down his left. We might as well write her in the books already, haven't we? Even though, not Derek's getting bloody involved. Women opt for needless elective buttock enhancement surgery just for another chance to be flirted with by me. So what's your deal? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I've been hitting on you all day. Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, I... Really? Oh. <laughs> um, excuse me. Wow, you're laughed up. That woman is not a... Single malt scotch, my friend. She is bad, cheap wine that gives you a headache you can feel in your teeth. Well, there you go. That, I was going to say, I just don't see that happening at all. They're undisciplined, inarticulate, and they have a lot to learn about respect. Mostly they're more interested in their personal crap than anything else. And I'm not sure that they're yep. being taught anything different. Yep. Honestly, I'm not sure I'll be staying on. Baz. Excuse me, sir. He's dishing out points. I know you're all going to disagree, but... <laughs> Tell me I'm not seeing what I'm seeing. Tell me. Bunch of food and satsumas on corpses. Full of human bodies. Each one of these people was loved. Each one of these people was somebody. Well, no, no somebody. Baby, but they've been, I, so okay. we are responsible for treating them as such. I actually agree with her, but it's like we're doing this now. Treat them with respect. them up, cover them up, and put them back where they belong. Now! I mean, it wasn't Lexi. Well, we, yeah. I'm, gonna eat my, I'm gonna eat my lunch over this body. Oh, sorry, did my lettuce fall on your toe? What's his name? I wondered if you asked her her husband's name so that he could become a person to you. Now, you're good. You're excellent. You can win all the contests, but if that's why you're doing this, then you shouldn't be. So did you find out his name? My dad died when I was nine in a car accident. I was with him in the car. While we waited for the ambulance, I tried to keep his chest closed so he wouldn't bleed so much. Uh, we've heard about this, but we don't wish really spoken about it before. My hands felt his heart stop beating. That's why I do this. Not it's also why I win all the contests. The patient's name is Tom. Oh, she did. I should know the name. He's still like, Owen still has points, but, yeah. We are born, we live, we die. Sometimes not necessarily in that order. What do you mean? <laughs> no, George still. Yes! You don't get to die! <laughs> nice job. Oh, hi. Um, thanks. I, uh... You know, he's just a robot. I want to take back what I said before about leaving. Um, I was overreacting. It was just... It was personal, and I wondered if you could just forget about it. Get some sleep, Dr. Hunt. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, my God. Good save, O'Malley. Thank you. Deny it all day. If that was a human shot, they would actually just be dead, though. Seriously? <laughs> what? Oh, did you think we double date? Look, I'm gonna take my pants you never off. Know. Stay and see. Nope. I'll see it later. I'm gonna go downstairs. So if death is not the end. You know, Lisa, she just Derek and Meredith hasn't had an argument for two whole episodes. That's a record. He still needs a heart, but I bought him some time. Good, I'm glad. I went to the chief about Izzy Stevens and he completely shut me down. Well, we'll see what he says when I report this to Yunos. Whoa, 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 wait, why? Snitching. So you're going to report this to Yunos and cost this hospital its transplant certification? Cost our patients organs? Cost people their jobs? Cost Izzy Stevens her career? Wait, so you're taking Izzy Stevens' side in this over mine? I mean, it seems like him. Reason we have each oh, other's please backs, Erica. Do not talk to me about a code because this is not that. No, this is that. Um. <laughs> you do Kat and Izzy Stevens that night, but unless you were in the middle of that situation, I don't see how you can make a judgment. Easy. There's right and there's wrong. And this was wrong. Yes, I would Han have done, not done the same for Callie. Maybe not, <laughs> actually. You can't kind of side with Izzy Stevens. 
And you can't kind of be a lesbian. Well, no, she's bisexual. She... Yes, I can. We've established that. She didn't say she was a lesbian. I don't know you at all. What? Alright, oh, whatever. I get Hans pissed, I agree with that, but then, like, off the shit she just came out with was a load of nonsense. <laughs> oh, back for his paycheck. You can't be here. I have to move on. I love you. Little Pam Round and Alex will be there. <laughs> no. Why, I helped save his life so that I wouldn't feel guilty anymore and I can move on, so please. Yep. <laughs> In fact, there's only one thing about life we can be sure of. Oh, he's come back again, bloody hell. Are you sure you're okay? Turn to Clay Jensen. <laughs> it ain't over till it's over. Alright, Meredith, stop with your goofy ass commentary, man. It ain't over until it's over. Like, what? You can walk about some waffle. All right, there we go, guys. That's episode. What episode was that? Episode eight? Yeah, episode eight. I think seven. <laughs> episode seven of Grey's Anatomy season five. What did what we're saying? This guy gave the episode this time around. This is why I get excited for probably. A... Oh, take put your guesses in. What rating did Vlad Tepes give this episode of Grey's Anatomy? He gave it a one. <laughs> one out of ten. And the review. <clears throat> what a load of bullshit. Not only did that dumbass chief let Izzy get away with committing a grave crime, now he defends her when she screws up again. For fuck's sake, get rid of Izzy and the incompetent chief and most of the rest of these useless wankers and get some competent people. And stealing cadavers? Question mark? Vlad, thanks for another 10 out of 10 review, honestly. He might be giving these episodes a 1 out of 10, but I'm giving his reviews a 10 out of 10. Um, everyone else enjoyed the episode, though. <laughs> Top review, though. For the love of God, can we please be done with Danny Duquette already? He's been dead for, like, 84 seasons. <laughs> uh, you know what? I like that. I'll, I'll kind of agree at this point. They... He died, and then the first time he came back as a ghost, I was fine with it, like, when it was the start of season three and she was kind of seeing him or whatever. Like, that was fine. Meredith seeing him when she died, I thought that was a little bit forced, but I was like, okay. And now I'm like, can we be done, please? We get it. Danny Duquette died, and Izzy loved him and will always love him forever. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, but yeah, uh, anyway, this was actually a good episode. I think Owen has definitely gone up in my rankings. Like, I'm glad he kind of called out Alex and Izzy for just them constantly fighting over who gets the body and who gets... It's just like, oh my god. So I like that you just kind of laid out there that they need to be a bit more respected. <laughs> and then we got the scene of Christina explaining kind of why she actually does what she does. Doesn't really explain why she acts the way... I mean, it, it kind of does. Like, she saw that, so this is why she kind of has emotions disconnected, I guess. But... um is it an excuse to act the way she does? I don't know. I'll leave that up for you guys to decide. But uh, yeah, so I thought that whole story was really good. And then Han is going to go report Izzy. So we'll see how that plays out. Izzy, I doubt he's like going to lose a job or anything unless the actress leaves the show, which I actually don't know. Like I said, the only actress I know is still around is Meredith. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure. And that Adelaide Kane is in the show later on, but way later on. <laughs> uh, that's like the only things I know. So, uh, yeah, Mark trying to hit on Christina was funny. Callie was pretty good. George performing on the doll. Lexi was good as well. So, yeah, overall, pretty good episode. I still wouldn't say it's quite an 8 out of 10, but I think it was really good overall. So we'll go 7.7 out of 10 for this one, guys, mainly because of Owen. <laughs> Owen actually had a couple of really good scenes in this one. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for episode 8. Until then, take care. Peace.